Good morning, folks and family. This is Raymond X of Profit again, coming to you live from my apartment bedroom. We just had a power outage here, <coughs> excuse me, over an hour ago. And you can uh, look at that power outage in one of the videos. I'm going to post that here and uh, upload it here eventually. So when I get a chance, I'll post that. You can read it for yourself. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about uh, the word for today. This is the word for today, part one, for April 25th, 2020. Once again, the word for today, part one. April 25th, 2020, and today is Wednesday, July 29th, 2020 at 7.58 a.m. Wednesday, July 29th, 2020, 7.58 a.m. And today you're going to get two for one special. You're going to get a message from someone else. <coughs> Excuse me, man. I'm getting flim in my throat. Anyway, you're going to get two messages, one from this person and one from me. So let's go ahead and talk about that. So the first journal entry at April 24, 2020 at 2.37 p.m. I went to the Minister Paul channel and so this is the first message and he's talking about number one, resurrection number two, reconciliation number three, restoration so I'll repeat that again for Minister Paul number one is resurrection number two, reconciliation and number three, restoration and the link you see listed here on the YouTube video, I'll post that in the description box below. And let's go over the verses, the book of verses that he gave me. And we're going to start with 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 10 through 11, 13 through 14, and 16 this morning. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 10 and 11. Now that I married, I command, yet not I, but the Lord. A wife does not depart from her husband, but even if she does depart, let her remain unmarried or be reconciled to her husband, and the husband is not to divorce the wife. 1 Corinthians 7, verses 13 and 14. And a woman who has a husband who does not believe, if he is willing to live with her, let her not divorce him. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife, and the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Otherwise your children would be unclean, but now they are holy. 1 Corinthians 7 and 16. For how do you know, O wife, whether you will save your husband, or how do you know, O oh husband, whether you will save your wife? Okay, folks and family, the next journal entry I have for you, 3.39 p.m., April 24, 2020. Neither give place to the devil. Neither give place to the devil. This is found in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 25 through 32, key verse 27. Ephesians 4, 25 through 32. Therefore, putting away lying, let each one of you speak truth to his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down your wrath, nor give place to the devil. Let him who steal, let him who stole steal no longer, but rather let him labor, working with his hands what is good, that he may have something to give him who has need. Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. Okay, the next journal entry is at 3.51 p.m., April 24, 2020. Fear God and obey Him. Fear God and obey Him. And we're going to start in Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verses 13 and 14. Key verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is man's all. For God will bring every work into judgment, including every secret thing, whether good or evil. Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you? But to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all His ways, and to love Him, to serve the Lord your God with all your whole, with all your heart, and with all your soul. Job chapter 28, verse 28. And the man, he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. Psalm 25, verse 14. The secret of the Lord is was with those who fear Him, and He will show them his covenant. Psalm 33 verse 8. Let all the earth fear the Lord. 
Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. Psalm 34, verse 9. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. There is no want of those who fear him. Psalm 86, verse 11. Teach me your way, O Lord. I will walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. Psalm 111, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all those who do his commandments. His praise endures forever. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 7. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogance in the evil way, and the perverse mouth I hate. Proverbs chapter 14, verses 26 and 27. In the fear of the Lord there is strong confidence, and his children will have a place of refuge. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life, to turn the one way from the snares of death. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 23. The fear of the Lord leads to life, and he who has it will abide in satisfaction. He will not be visited with evil. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. The Gospel of Matthew chapter 10, verse 28. And do not fear those who can kill the body, but cannot kill the soul, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. The Gospel of Luke chapter 1, verse 50. And his mercy is on those who fear him, from generation to generation. Philippians chapter 2, verses 12 and 13. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you, both to will and to do, for his good pleasure. An external entry, April 24, 2020. 4.14 p.m. Fear Him continually. Fear Him continually. Psalm 34, verses 1 through 22. Key verses 1 and 7. The happiness of those who trust in God. A Psalm of David when he pretended madness before Abimelech, who drove him away, and he departed. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continue to be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried out, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him, and delivers him. O oh, taste and see the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. There is no want of those who fear him. The young lions lack and suffer hunger. But those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is the man who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil. They cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears, and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart, and saves such as has a, a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. He guards all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of them who trust in him shall be condemned. An external entry, 4.18 p.m. 
April 24, 2020. The fear of the Lord is to depart from evil. The fear of the Lord is to depart from evil. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 7. In Proverbs chapter 16, verse 6. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 7. Do not be wise in your own eyes, fear the Lord, and depart from evil. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 6. In mercy and truth, atonement is provided for iniquity. And by the fear of the Lord, one departs from evil. The final journal entry, 8.36 p.m., April 24, 2020. Whoever the sun sets free is free indeed. Whoever the sun sets free is free indeed. John chapter 8, verses 31 through 36. Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We are at Abraham's descendants, and have never been in bondage to anyone. How can you say you will be made free? Jesus answered them, Most assuredly, I... Say to you, whoever commits a sin is a slave of sin, and a slave does not abide in the house forever, but a son abides forever. Therefore, if the son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. Okay, folks of family, the Spotify worship song I have for you is by River Valley Worship, Calvary's Shadow. So it's Calvary's Shadow by River Valley Worship, and I'll post a link to that in the description box below, as well as the YouTube video link you see listed here. Okay, folks, the family, that's the Word for Today, Part 1, April 25th, 2020. Once again, the Word for Today, Part 1, April 25th, 2020. Today is Wednesday, July 29, 2020, 8, 19 a.m., coming from sunny Ocala, Florida. In my apartment bedroom, this is Raymond X, the prophet. God bless you all today. Remember, Jesus Christ is coming very soon. Very, very soon. Get ready for His return. This is your day of salvation. Your day to repent, 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 repent. Can't stress it enough. Your day of redeeming yourself, your decision day. Okay, guys, God bless you all. God loves you and so do I. Stay tuned for part two of these series. Love you all very much, and I'll see you on the next video of Lord Roland. Bye-bye for now. I love you. Take care.